Welcome. In this video, we're going to sketch a function of g of x, which meets the following criteria. So we have several limits here. The first one g must meet is, as x approaches infinity, that limit has to equal 2. Next, as x approaches 2, we want this function to grow without bound, and that is, the function's going to go off to infinity. We want g evaluated at negative 1 to equal 2. Additionally, as we approach negative 1 from the left, we want the function to grow without bound. And as we approach negative 1 from the right, we want our function to grow increasingly large negative, that is, go out to larger and larger negative values. And finally, as x approaches negative infinity, this function g is going to approach negative 1. Let's begin by sketching our axes. And along the vertical axes, I just want to make sure I have space for positive 2 and negative 1. Okay, so as you can see here, I have my x-axis running from negative 5 to positive 6, and my y-axis running from negative 4 to 3. So let's take a look at this first criteria. So as we approach, so as x, as these x values grow off to infinity, we want this function to approach 2. So I'm going to pencil in. I'm going to pencil in some lines here. I know my function is going to kind of end off here in this direction. Next, let's think of the limit as x approaches 2. So as x approaches 2, and that's from both directions, we want this function to grow without bound. That is, we want g to approach positive infinity. So I'm going to pencil in again. A function growing vertically on either side of positive 2. Okay, so our third criteria is that at negative 1, when x equals negative 1, that is, the value of g of negative 1 is 2. So I need to put a dot there. Our fourth, our fourth criteria is x approaches negative 1 from the left. So in this direction, we want our function to grow without bound. Okay. 